Shot Show 2017 at Browse Blades. Here with none other than Jason Bouse. How are you, man? Good. How are you? Great. Good to finally meet you and chat, man. You too. We had a fun time kind of hanging out here for a few minutes. Now I want to talk about knives. Are you okay with that, or should we talk about something else? I guess knives are okay. Uh, knives I guess okay. I'll accept that for right now. For the subject. Yeah. <laughs> at the moment, it's probably okay. Um, should we talk about your knives or somebody else's knives? I'm just joking. Let's talk about your knives. Okay, what here we go. Got? So this is called The Reloader. This is a collaboration we did with Mikkel Williamson. Uh, we've made these in the past with G10 handles, also carbon fiber handles, but we're doing a more economical version. Uh, this will have uh, aluminum scales. They'll be in different colors, blue, red, green, orange, purple. And uh, it kind of has a thinner profile. The blade is actually a lot thinner. And uh, they actually have an inset uh, stainless steel liner that's pretty much inset in inside the handle material. And uh, it just makes for a really nice sleek kind of profile. Um, nice kind of tonto grind there. Um, it's a cool knife. We've sold a lot of these, and uh, price point should be starting at $169 for satin, and that includes all the colors. And then we'll also do a stone wash finish, a total blackout finish, and then an acid stone wash, which is what this is. Um, we do a light Cerakote coating, and then we tumble it in ceramic media, and it kind of kind of has like kind of a, a medieval kind of look to it. Yeah, real pretty. Yeah, we, they sell pretty well, so. I'll show the flipping action on it so you can kind of, whoops. Nice. Yeah, it flips really well. It feels really good in the hand. Um, another yeah. kind of uh, trick thing about this is if you look closely at the back spacer, um, a lot of people think this is all just one piece, but it's actually two pieces. So this piece is connected to the back spacer and then this kind of slides underneath it and kind of overlaps it which kind of gives it a cool effect sweet also um, they will include uh, a reversible pocket clip okay. and we call this a little uh, lanyard on there um, you'd have to probably take the guts out of the paracord to get it to fit um, but it's mainly meant to just be a spacer okay so if you want if you're left-handed you can simply unscrew that take it out and then you slide it in on this side and then put this on the other side sure so sure, sure. Makes it sense. makes it simple so I like it that's the reloader this one here is the Mike Snowdy collaboration it's called the Annie up um, for the people that know who Mike Snowdy is, they know that for the S on his name, he uses a money symbol. So I thought I was clever coming up with the name Annie Up. So nice. um, that's what it's called. Uh, it's a full titanium frame lock with a stainless steel lock insert, um, 3D contoured handle, um, D2 blade. They'll also come in satin, stone wash, blackout, and acid. Uh, satin will start at $399. It kind of has a different kind of style look to it, but it's super, super comfortable. Um, the actual profile of the blade is an exact copy of a Mike Snowdy knife. And so we basically took his blade and we put it on our handle. So that's kind of a 50-50 a collaboration. Um, he also does his jimping like that, and uh, he actually does it with a file. No kidding. So we tried to mimic that as well as we can, so. Excellent. So it has a great flipping action. You can see how high the flipper is. So the, the flipping action is is pretty nice. We, uh, we work on that geometry. So the high flipper, and then when you flip it, it actually uh, hides in the handle. So just kind of has an interesting kind of look to it. And we're excited about those. I love it, man. So this here is the Jake Hoback A8 collaboration. Um, Again, uh, titanium frame lock with a stainless steel insert. Uh, you can see we did a custom pivot on that. That's what he does on his customs. So we wanted to kind of have that same kind of look to it. Um, pretty much the outside profile is exactly like his customs. Uh, we modified the flipper a little bit to bring the flipper up in the closed position. And you can see how small it is. Yeah. And it still has really, really nice flipping action. Uh, the uh, backspacer is aluminum and it kind of has this you know, ridge that pops up where you can put your lanyards and your accessories on oh, there. That's cool looking, man. Yeah, it has a nice look to it. Uh, the jimping is really nice. Um, it's got I, a heck of a chunky blade, too. Yeah, yeah, it has kind of a steep curve to it. 
and then we kind of added this uh, swedge up here that kind of matches the same profile of the grind on there. Yeah. So yeah, we're excited about that one. Uh, last but not least, this is the Spectre. So with this design, I literally sat down and tried to make the most boring, simple knife <laughs> that I could think of, and this, this is, is it. This is Jason Browse trying not to be Jason Browse. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Just trying to be, um, there's an elegance in simplicity, and that's what we wanted to do with this one. And this knife has actually seen a lot of attention during the show. People seem to really like it. Um, I guess this, the parts that stand out about it are probably the flipper. You can see how high up that flipper is. Yes. And uh, the higher the flipper, the better flipping action you're going to get. So it's not only just a simple looking knife, but it has great action. It's a great kind of EDC style knife. Um, nice pocket clip. Was that titanium or steel? This is stainless steel. Okay, and G10 on the other side. Correct. Okay. So the price point on this one is probably going to be about 160 Okay. So when you go from doing titanium um, to stainless steel, the, the price difference is major. So yeah. we're trying to get stuff down at around the 200 price point. So yeah. that's the plan. Uh, very classic looking. A lot of going to appeal to a lot of people because it's uh, so basic. Exactly. But that's great. Love it, man. Cool. Sweet. Um, man, great to finally chat with you. You too. And once again, we're at the Browse Blades booth at SHOT Show 2017. Thanks for watching.